I was raised in the Catholic Church and went to Catholic school and for years, every day and sometimes um, multiple times, I would be instructed or asked to say the Hail Mary. It's one of the beads on a rosary. Um, and it's a prayer that's said repeatedly in the Catholic Church, and it has been. The prayer is related to Hail Mary, who is in Catholic tradition, is just seen as Jesus's mother. You know, she is the one who birthed him in the manger and that, that story. But there, the prayer in the Catholic Church had a lot to do with um, that she was the key to peace in the world. So people were praying to her to pray for the, no one said it this way, it wasn't Hail Mary, please help this mess. <laughs> but it was about assisting in the process. If you don't know the Hail Mary, you've probably heard it through the Ave Maria. That's the Hail Mary in Latin, and most everybody hears that, at least at Christmas time. But it is the prayer to her. And it occurred to me years ago that what has happened is the beauty that she brought was focused on her as a single being, as opposed to truly Mother God. Not just the woman who birthed Jesus, but Mother God, hail to the mother. And I'll tell you the words, I'll read the prayer because... You may never have heard it. The way it's written in the Catholic Church is, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. So this is the part where it got tricky for me. I realized all this time I was saying, blessed are you amongst all women. So there was a way in which I don't have a shot. You know, she's been gone a long time. She was the only one who was blessed in the presence of God. So I rewrote the words, <laughs> sacrilege. But I rewrote the words to this prayer, and I could share them with you. But mostly I, the reason I want you to know I rewrote them was I started out with, I celebrate myself, and I am full of grace in the presence of God. And that's not just about, that's not I, Jane. That's I, whoever says these words, celebrate myself as the one holding the womb space for humanity and my world. I am full of grace. And when I am full of grace, I see the larger pattern because I am full of love. I am full of the um, connection I have with the divine. That's how we know grace is we are centered as men and women. Mother God is the spirit of the response to the father. And we all have that. And mother and father are so in love that they're holding this world in the world that is being born now with grace, seeing the bigger picture and allowing all who are interested to play their part. The final words that I changed were, may the sacred expression of Mother God within me hold all that is in the creative process, all that is coming, all that is manifesting, and all that is disintegrating now and forever. Amen. May we do that together.